Hi everyone, in today's video I will show how to create a shared mailbox in Exchange Online. You can create a shared mailbox in two ways, from the Exchange Online Admin Center or through PowerShell, and I will go over that. From Microsoft 365 Admin Center, select Exchange, and it will take you to Exchange Admin Center. And as you can notice, I'm still on the old Exchange Admin Center, and if you're on this uh, view, under Recipient, select Shared, then select New. I will call this invoice and select save. So our share, share mailbox is created. Now what I will do, I will just hide it from the address list. And under mailbox delegation, I need to do two important things. First thing is if I go for the full access, it allows uh, the person to open the mailbox, view and add, remove content from the mailbox, but they cannot send messages from the mailbox, but I need both. First thing I will just add my user so this user can open, edit or delete emails. And I'll also add it to the send as, so they can send emails from this mailbox. Everything else looks good. I don't think I need to do anything. Yeah, so I'm just gonna save this. Now I'm in the new Exchange Admin Center and under Mailbox, I will select Add a Shared Mailbox. I will call this one Training. I will select my domain. Then I will select Create. Now if I go to Mailboxes, I will see my Invoice and Training shared mailboxes. If we select training under mailbox permissions, I will do the same thing. I'll add my user for the read and manage and also I will select send as. And this is how you can create shared mailboxes from Exchange Admin Center. Now let's create a shared mailbox with PowerShell. I'm already connected to my Exchange Online. And to create a shared mailbox, all you need to do, type new mailbox. And as you can see, I was able to create my shared mailbox. If I go and check our mailboxes, and if I refresh the page, I should be able to see my admin shared mailboxes. Now I'm going to give my user full access and send as permissions. Identity is the name of the shared mailbox. Now by default, if you give someone full access, to a shared mailbox, that mailbox will add it to that user's profile and it will show up in their Outlook. If you don't want that to happen, all you can do is add auto mapping, dollar sign false. It won't show up. But in this case, I'm not gonna use auto mapping. Now I'm going to give send as permission. Get identity. Now, instead of user, I'm going to use trusty. Yes to all. So 
Now you have two options. You can go back to Exchange Admin Center, find the shared mailbox and check full access and send as permissions or just check it through PowerShell. First, I'm going to check if my user has full access. Here, my user has access right full access to admin shared mailbox. Now I'm going to check if my user has send as permission. So my user has send as permission to admin share mailbox. Now if I check the admin center, I should be able to see the permission. As you can see, I have read and manage and a send as permission and I all did it through PowerShell. And that's how you can create share mailbox through Exchange Admin Center or PowerShell. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.